<laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow!
Hi ho there folks, and welcome to Deadly Premonition, the director's cut, surprisingly. I thought about digging out my PS3 because I'm pretty sure I have a copy of the original somewhere. If not, I'd have to get another copy. I'm playing this on PC, so this will either be a really fantastic experience or a really terrible experience, and given how well this game plays and runs, <laughs> actually I need to turn off my little frame limiter. Or my uh, frame indicator there. Uh, turn off. Turn off. Turn off everything. This game honestly runs like shit, <laughs> but that's part of the experience. Even on consoles, it runs like shit. But we're gonna see if we can get through this game. I've been meaning to play this actually for a, quite a while, so. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun. It's one of those games people have probably talked it to death on the internet. It's one of the best worst games ever. There's just a certain charm to it. Mainly that comes from the main characters that you interact with and who you play as. And I've already done a first tries for the second game, if you haven't seen that, I mean you can check it out on the channel. But here we are for the for the original. And honestly, if if I get to a point in this game on PC because I've installed some mods to help with the performance, the crashes, but I've still encountered quite a few crashes on its own. If I get to a point that I just can't continue on, I'm gonna have to get my... <clears throat> I just had breakfast a little bit ago. If I can't continue on, I'm gonna have to dig out my PS3. Well, dig it out, it's sitting on a shelf right beside me. I'm gonna have to dig out my PS3 and I'm gonna have to find my copy of the game. So yeah, let's let's dig into it, man. Save file for Deadly Premonition exists already. Overwrite save data. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, did you hear that? It was like, er. I'm actually gonna see if I can back up my save real quick. Okay, that didn't. That took me like less than two minutes. So save file has been backed up just in case something crazy happens. So let's overwrite that data. I'm pretty sure on the consoles you have you can have multiple saves, not this game. And since we are playing the director's cut, there's a couple of extra story bits peppered in here. story ah uh, yes of course you've been waiting a long time for this so how about a special one this story is very strange and very nasty but somewhat nostalgic do you think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end is it a scary story? It might be. But it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? Leave the sound down like always. Listen, this is important. 
At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Pretty dark lesson to tell what looks like a seven-year-old. They are whispering oddly loudly. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, huh? <laughs> Move, run, sweet. Prologue, York and Zack. When that or that is displayed on screen, act with Y, observe with that. Well, act with A. <laughs> A strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. A doll, shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it that reads, Washington State. A dummy for hanging costumes. It gives me the creeps somehow, though it might be useful for jackets and such. Francis York Morgan. I'll just add this trading card to my collection. That's us! Extra bonus. Sweet. A white screen. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. Oh, I guess I was supposed to talk to those guys first. It's about time to get started. About time Zach. to get started. Zack, can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Sure, York, let me just tell you what I'm saying. Uh, good. I thought you went to sleep. Zack, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Trust me, slow is part of the process and came here. <laughs> Everything is slow. And clunky. That's a loud ass car. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think of it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? Zach, I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. That's a network error. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper. Even if it ends up being a waste of time, at the very least it'll get me out of the cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? Perpetrator from the last case really was something. Who'd have thought there'd be razors laced in your nails? Crazy. Just crazy. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. You see this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? Seriously, that car is so damn loud. I just wanted to take I want you to think about it. This guy's doing everything but keeping his eyes on the damn road. The second he tries to, he, he 
goes off. Monkey sound of squirrels. This place has got everything. And yet somehow we live through this. York is a hell of a lucky guy. Hey, would you look at that? Hmm. Cigarettes all bent up, though. <sighs> Zack, there goes the civilized world. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Oh, save complete. Thank you. I don't think I'd get a save point right here. Flashlight on or off? Well, I mean, probably better to leave it on. This thing is all fucked up, which is sad. This is like a really nice car. Hey, Zach, there's a path up ahead in the headlights. Must be years since I last set foot on a dirt path. Indeed. Oh, uh, we got a steel pipe. A rusty pipe. Reach, long, speed, medium, strength, medium, durability, low. Well, you know what? We got something. Gonna pull a Silent Hill right here. Thank god the controls aren't, aren't too messed up. Oh, we got Ancient Honor. Fantastic. Oh, what's this? A first aid kit. Band-aids. <laughs> Small first aid kit. Band-aids. So if I get shot, I can just rub a band-aid on it and I'm fine. What's this? Oh, it's a box. My toolbox. There's probably nothing in here. Yep, nothing. Uh, what do we got? Well, we got some lollipops, so we're set for the rest of the day. Got band-aids. Got a coffee. He just keeps it in his pocket. With milk. That's yeah, coffee I'm drinking. Cigarettes. Heavy. A very rare and strong brand. Smoking them will make you forget that time is going by. Nice way to pass the time. Alright. Let's go, uh, let's go, uh, you know, try and live. Sweet. I love how he th swings out like like a baseball. <laughs> no, fuck baseball bat. I need to readjust myself in my seat. I'm hearing noises, Zach. Start profile. Fuzzy. Looks like we're being welcomed. Zack, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Extra for profiling. I did, like, nothing. I closed my eyes for, like, two seconds. Is that the way I went? No, that's the way I came. The way I went. I need to focus on my speaking. Can't see through much the... Can't see much through this fog. The path might be blocked from the rain. We should stay away from obvious danger. Yes, that's clearly some very red rain, you know, typical for the Washington state. Unusual phenomenon in other parts of the world, but here, uh-uh. What's this? The lighting looks ages old. We're off the path now, but things aren't looking much better. It's alright. We got a gun. A 9mm handgun FBI custom. Wanna know why it's custom? Actually, pretty nice. Got a laser sight. Oh, I heard a dog, you hear that? I don't think there's anything there. You hear it? 